Texan Global School. Axioms, Laws, and Properties of Real Numbers. Addition. In this class, the concept of axiom and the properties of addition in real numbers are analyzed. The examples will be focused only on whole numbers. We will use the axioms of addition and the number line to perform the operation between whole numbers. An axiom is an evident proposition or statement that does not need proof and allows new statements to be deduced. In the addition of real numbers, the first axiom that we will analyze is the so-called closure law. This law indicates that the sum of two real numbers will result in a real number. Let's look at an example. Perform the operation, 2 plus 3. First, we draw the number line. We indicate two units and then the next three units, thus obtaining five units. So, 2 plus 3 equals 5. Analyzing the closure law, we can see that 2 and 3 are real numbers, and the result 5 of the sum is also a real number. The commutative law indicates that the sum of two numbers of b is equivalent to adding b a. Let's see an example with this axiom. Performing the operation of 10 plus 20, we draw the number line. Then, we indicate 10 units and then 20 more, thus obtaining 30 units. If we perform the process in reverse, that is, 20 units plus 10 units, we obtain the same result of 30 units. This means that it is the same to add 10 plus 20 as 20 plus 10. In this way, we verify that the commutative law is true. The associative law indicates that, given three real numbers, we can group two of those numbers with grouping symbols to add them, and the result is added with the remaining number. Let's look at an example. When performing the operation 1 plus 2 plus 3, we first draw the number line. We indicate one unit, then two and finally three units, obtaining as a result six units. Using the associative law, we can group in another way. We can then associate 1 plus 2 and add the result with 3, also obtaining 6. Another way to associate is grouping 2 plus 3, and to the result we add 1. In this way, we also obtain 6 units. Finally, we group 1 plus 3, and to the result, we add 2, obtaining the same result of 6 units. As we can see, we can group and add the numbers as we see fit without altering signs. In the end, the result will be the same. Another axiom indicates that exists one and only one element denoted as zero, such that the sum of this additive neutral element with any real number results in the same real number. This axiom is called the existence and uniqueness of the additive neutral element. In the example, we perform the operation of zero plus 11. When drawing the number line, we do not advance any units since they are zero. Later we advance 11 units, thus obtaining the real number 11. In this way, we can see that if we add zero with any other real number, it will always result in the same real number. The last axiom of addition indicates that for each real number a, there is one and only one element denoted by negative a in such a way that adding them results in zero. In this last example, we are asked to find the additive inverse of 8. As we can see, the additive inverse of 8 must be the number that when added, results in 0. As we can see on the number line, we advance 8 units and then return those same 8 units, thus obtaining 0. So the additive inverse of 8 is negative 8, since 8 plus minus 8 results in 0. This axiom is the basis for subtraction. Actually, what we will do is add the additive inverse of a number while subtrading. Texan Global School. Global Online Learning. Knowledge for the World. www.texanglobalschool.com.